That's my account officer. When he graduated, he told his family he hadn't done anything worthy of congratulations. That was before he went to the Access Bank School of Banking Excellence, where they test them again and again. Now you can congratulate me. Once you make it through the Access Bank School of Banking Excellence, you are indeed ready to play in the Ivy League of Banking. I believe that to be true, and that's why I trust Access Bank. Hello and welcome to Next News. Nobel Laureate Wale Shoenka, human rights lawyer Femi Falana, and Tunde Bakari on Tuesday in Abuja led a mass protest against the prolonged absence of President Omar Yaradua from the country. With several other activists, they decried an alleged peripheral of billions of naira from the nation's coffers and the alleged forging of the president's signature on the supplementary budget. They also denounced the Monday night interview granted the English and Alsa services of the British Broadcasting Corporation by Mr. Yaradua, saying it was a charade and a computerized voice of the president. After a marathon debate that attracted an unprecedented participation by senators, the upper chamber of the National Assembly has invited the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Yale Ahmed, to brief it on President Omar Musa Yaradua's health. Dramatic and loaded with intrigues, as well as a series of parliamentary and political manipulations, the debate attracted an attendance of 97 senators, most of whom were very eager to contribute. The single prayer motion, which was sponsored by the Deputy President of the Senate, Ike Ikwere and 29 others, had asked that a delegation be sent to Saudi Arabia to ascertain the truth about the health condition of Yaradua. Justice Akim Oshodi of the Lagos High Court Ikeja on Tuesday threw out the application of the defense in the ongoing libel suits filed by Olabode George against five media houses to amend their statements of defense. Mr. George had sued some media publications, namely Independent Newspaper, publisher of the Daily Independent, Corporate Vendors Limited, and Independent Network Communications Limited, publishers of PM News, alleging libel over their publication of the Nuhu Rubado-led investigating panel report that indicted him and other board members. George is asking for two billion naira separately from the organizations. That's my account officer. When he graduated, he told his family he hadn't done anything worthy of congratulations. That was before he went to the Access Bank School of Banking Excellence, where they test them again and again. Now you can congratulate me. Once you make it through the Access Bank School of Banking Excellence, you are indeed ready to play in the Ivy League of Banking. I believe that to be true, and that's why I trust Access Bank. The Senate on Tuesday accused the management of the Nigerian Television Authority of sabotage. The chairman of the Senate Committee on Information and Media, Ahogu Eze, said this while briefing journalists at the end of Tuesday's plenary session. He said the management of the television station had agreed to carry the Senate's debate on the state of President Omar Yaradua's health live only to renege at the last minute without justification. Three Britons and a Colombian were abducted on Tuesday in Obehi Abia State, Nigeria. Their driver and a police corporal attached to expatriates were shot dead in the incident. The four expatriate contractors were for Netco Deitzman, a joint venture between Nigeria State-owned National Engineering and Technical Company and Dutch maintenance company Deitzman. River State Police Command has offered to pay two million naira to anyone with useful information that could lead to the rescue of the Britons. Vice President Goodluck Jonathan on Tuesday pleaded with the United States government to remove Nigeria from the list of security risk states in the global war on terror. Mr. Jonathan said this during a meeting with the U.S. Deputy Secretary of State for Homeland Security, Jane Lute, in Abuja. He noted that the U.S. had a long history of relations with Nigeria, saying that the U.S. knew that the country was not a nation that supports terrorism. That's my account officer. When he graduated, he told his family he hadn't done anything worthy of congratulations. That was before he went to the Access Bank School of Banking Excellence, where they test them again and again. Now you can congratulate me. Once you make it through the Access Bank School of Banking Excellence, you are indeed ready to play in the Ivy League of Banking. I believe that to be true, and that's why I trust Access Bank. 
A major earthquake struck the capital of impoverished Haiti on Tuesday, toppling many buildings and burying hundreds, possibly thousands of people under the rubble, witnesses said. The magnitude 7.0 quake, whose epicenter was inland and only 10 miles from Port-au-Prince, sent panic-stricken people screaming into the streets as a cloud of dust and smoke from fallen buildings rose to the sky. A major earthquake struck the capital of impoverished Haiti on Tuesday, toppling many buildings and burying hundreds, possibly thousands of people under the rubble, witnesses said. The magnitude 7.0 quake, whose epicenter was inland and only 10 miles from Port-au-Prince, sent panic-stricken people screaming into the streets as a cloud of dust and smoke from fallen buildings rose into the sky. Offices, hotels, houses and shops collapsed. The gleaming white presidential palace lay in ruins, its dunes fallen on top of flattened walls. Finally, in sports, Nigerian coach Shwaibu Amodu says his side lost control and were punished for making silly mistakes and then letting their heads drop after conceding a goal. The Super Eagles took the lead through Chinedu Obasi on 12 minutes, but then gave away a soft equalizer, and Amudu said they lost their character after that. Skipper Joseph Yobo agreed and said the Eagles were unsettled by the Pharaoh's second goal. Thank you for watching Next News. For more on these and other stories, please check out 234next.com. That's my account officer. When he graduated, he told his family he hadn't done anything worthy of congratulations. That was before he went to the Access Bank School of Banking Excellence, where they test them again and again. Now you can congratulate me. Once you make it through the Access Bank School of Banking Excellence, you are indeed ready to play in the Ivy League of Banking. I believe that to be true, and that's why I trust Access Bank.